my channel. Today I am going to be repotting a money tree, um, a half dead succulent, but I'll tell you why it's half dead in a little while. I have a snake plant and then I have a mass cane. I'm going to be planting all of them in this cactus potting soil. These are my best friend's plants. She's new to plants and she's not very gentle with them. So I thought that using this soil would be better because she won't be able <laughs> she won't be able to drown them. <laughs> First of all, if you hear her in the background, she's gonna try to defend herself against why she killed. Do you wanna tell them how you killed or almost killed this succulent here? I didn't kill the plant. They can't hear you over there, you gotta come outside so they can hear you. She has a super top secret government job, so she can't be on film. <laughs> she can't be on film. <laughs> Just yeah. kidding. <laughs> All right, so. I, I spent some time by the candles. Oh, oh. she thinks it got um, burned because she had it by her candles. I don't know. Let me know if you guys think that sounds um, legit. Yeah, let me know if you think it sounds legit. I don't think so. So I have this one here, the terracotta pots. I um, soaked them in some water last night, so they're ready to go. I think the first one I'm gonna do is the money tree. I'm taking it out of here because this one is a cash pot. There's no drainage down there. So I'm gonna take that out of there. And as you can see, it was root bound anyway, because this was all um, sticking out through the bottom of the pot but the roots are nice and healthy as you can see so let's put this away over here i'm gonna break the roots up a little bit at the bottom so i'm in dc right now i took a little road trip we drove down so that's where I am right now. That's why the surroundings look different. I'm gonna be here for a few days. They have a, um, a nursery out here that I found online that I wanna go and visit. But they're not open until Wednesday. So I'm gonna have to wait for that. But there's another one that's not far from her house that I wanna go um, and check out. You can see their greenhouse like right there from the street is really big. So. It says that they're a florist, but I called and they said that they also sell house plants. So I wanna go and see what they have. That's too high. She has hooks out here on the top of this porch to hang plants, but she needs something that she doesn't have to pay too much attention to. Talk to them about your views on plants. <laughs> Having plants in your home. What plants add to your life? No, to your space. But she got her this one and the aloe and then the succulent right there. And then we went to Home Depot yesterday and she picked out the mass cane and the snake plant. The Home Depot here is a bit, I would say it's better than the one back home. They had, um, their plants definitely were healthier. And they had a micans in there, but it had um, it had spider mites, so I didn't get that because I don't know. I just don't want to be bothered with that, and I'm not going to be here that long. And she's not going to keep up the treatments on it to make sure that they were gotten rid of. So, all right, there goes the money tree. Are you going to leave it tied together? She probably doesn't know. I'll leave it tied. Because the money tree, you can tie it together. I'm gonna ask the question and then. 
Because you didn't answer. I was trying to see. Whatever. I untied mine because I wanted to spread out. But I'll leave hers tied because she's not going to know what else to do with it. All right. This one is all set. I'm going to pot all of them first. And then I'm going to water them. So set that one down there. Let's do this one. Now, I don't know about this guy because... Oh, she put this in there. A what? You put that in there? I didn't put that in there. No, oh, never mind. Someone put it in there. <laughs> For some height, I guess. All right, I'm going to see how much of a root system is in here before I pot it up. Because if it's too small, this pot is going to be too big for that. So let's see. Mm. So you just rip on in there, huh? Yeah. Tear it all apart. Because mm -hmm. if you put it in too big of a pot, it's not, it's gonna, um, when you do water it, it'll stay too wet and it'll just rot it. And like I figured, this doesn't have anything. You should have just went and just tore it apart like that. You have to be gentle because the root system that is in place, you don't want to mess with it. So this is the entire plant. So we're not going to put that in there. That's way too big. I'm going to have to put this to the side and I'll figure out where I'm going to put that. Because that won't work. That, that container was too big from the beginning. Right here. That one I was gonna use for the um, snake plant, but I can put your snake plant in here. No, that's not the one that this one came in. Oh, the plastic? I mean, if you want it left in the plastic, I can. I don't even know what that's gonna do. I mean, technically it could really bounce back because it does did put out two new shoots. So it still wants to do something. But it really needs to be in something small. I'll go look in her kitchen and see if she has like a jar or some kind of container or something that would be better for that. Cause that's like a propagation now. That's just a little baby. Get out of here, doggy. She has a dog too. So I'm pretty sure all these are animal safe plants, but she says that her dog doesn't bother them. So it should be fine. She should be fine. All right, let's get over there. She's just, she's oh no, this one doesn't have uh, this is a, um, a terracotta pot, but it doesn't have a drain hole. So, I'm not going to put the snake plant in that. Put that over there, too. I'm going to stick to the original plan and put the snake plant in here. Now, are you familiar with the importance of drain holes? Oh, the importance of drain holes. I feel like this one is really bad, too. She's, an, she's a special case, guys. <laughs> a very special case. Now this snake plant has one, two, three plants in it. But I'm assuming you want them still to stay together. So I can put them all yeah, together. Yeah, I guess everywhere else you want to put them. I mean, it depends on if you want them spread around or you just want it all one big one. See, she don't even know. She just want them in there. I just want some plants around and that's it. That's the point. All right, let me get some of this soil in here. So I'm gonna go ahead and get the snake plant out. Okay. There are the roots on that one. This one has some nice healthy roots. Let's see. Okay. So we are leaving them together then. They look like they already. These are the babies. Intertwined. They're not. They come off. So yeah. what's that around the side of it? These are the roots. Okay, so how are you gonna take the, how are you gonna take the little I don't need you to ask how the soup is made. Just let me know. Are you ask you, you how you want it. So I'm gonna leave them together for her. If it was mine, I would separate just so I could have more around and you end up with more plants. But I keep looking down because I'm pretty sure her dog is plotting an escape. 
And we're on the top floor. She is not. She's not suicidal. <laughs> Whoa. Take some of this out. But if you make another plant, why would you put it? You can't put it in one more spot. Yeah, I don't prefer plastic pots, but I will put it in there. Okay, so I need to do two. Okay. So now she wants two. <laughs> so, quick little how to separate a snake plant. Snake plants are easy to separate because. The baby plants grow off the mom on a little arm like this one. And you can see, just give it a little jiggle. And there you go. That's a separate one. And actually, that's not even a baby because it wasn't attached. These, they just put more than one plant in there to fill it out. But these are three small plants. And I'm going to separate them down again. That's why going to thrift stores are good too because I went to a thrift store the other day and I found a bunch of pots. People donate their pots all the time and I got them for like a quarter. I mean the clay pots aren't bad. This size was like 97 cents. The big one for that was 597. So it's not a bad price but when you can get them cheaper, why not? Okay, so I think I'm going to put this one in here. You always want to put some of the old dirt back in there so that you don't shock the plant too Maybe much. Sure the things are being said that, that should be said, not inappropriate things. <laughs> She's assisting from behind the screen. Right. Making sure it's disrespectful things are not being said. All right. Like Mother's Day. Oh, I want it. But see, see, you gonna leave that one by itself? Yeah. Why? You want? You don't want it by itself? So you feel like it's just gonna grow like that? Like it's gonna get thicker? Like it's gonna fill out? Yes. I won't put two together if you prefer two together. I'm just asking. Like, you put, is it gonna? Fill she out likes huge. She likes the plants to start one, off two, like three. this. It's one, gonna two, come three, out and it's gonna go up. It'll branch off. It'll put out babies. It's not going to be a get up tomorrow and it's like that. But <laughs> yes, it will do that. <laughs> she doesn't have any patience. She wants big plants right from the beginning. Exactly. And that's not how it works. Look at this. Is, this is sculptural. That's what it is. It adds texture to your home. Oh, that's a texture. I was telling her what her aesthetic is, I feel like. No, her it's rustic. <laughs> she says that it's rustic, and I said that it was bachelor pad with soft edges. It's rustic. But no, she has like a brick, um, what is it, like a fireplace? Mantle type of setup with her with her TV on top, and I thought the snake plant would look nice with that, but she probably gonna put it somewhere totally different anyway. But, and see, this one has a little baby in it already right there. It's definitely gonna grow. Snake plants aren't super fast so growers, but they're the very hardy. The, other soil in there? the new soil? Yeah. yeah, I put the new soil at the bottom because you want to lift it up. I put a little bit of the old soil in there because you don't want to shock the plant. You want to put something in there that is used to being around, and then you add the fresh. So here's that oh, one. That's a revelation right there. What's the problem? What? what are you talking about? Them? <laughs> you, put the, you put the old, you put a little bit of the old, and then you add the new. Look at that. That's a word. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so well, here's that one. Let's put this one down here. <laughs> oh, shoot. I'm going to drop it. Make new friends, but keep the old one is silver. The other is what? Gold. You wasn't a Girl Scout. I was about to say, I want to see it like, because I remember that mess. Were you a girl? I was a brownie. <laughs> I, did, I, a brownie. I didn't go past. <laughs> I made it to the stage of being a brownie, and that was all. Okay, put that one down there. And when you're putting the soil, you want to leave a little bit of space at the top. So when you water it, all the water doesn't just run over the side and make a mess. 
Okay, so now that I have more plants than I anticipated. I have to name the plants now. Yeah, you can name them. I named like boy, some of my plants. I saw on YouTube. What boy? That she showed me, because ever since you keep making me watch these YouTube shows. YouTube is very... Okay. The boy that's the gamer. I'm contemplating. The, this is such a good pot. Why didn't they put a hole in it? It's so stupid. Well, you can't make a hole. <laughs> you don't have the proper equipment. You need a drill. I don't have a drill. Do you have a drill? I have a power screwdriver. <laughs> she wants me to put a hole in here with a power drill. We can try it. It might break it. You could just leave it. Yeah. Now, tell me what you think. There are two schools of thought. Some people feel that if you put rocks and debris at the bottom, you can create drainage. Other people feel like it's not really creating drainage because the water will still be absorbed back up into the plants. So, and I don't even see anything anyway. I, I mean, this is that. a balcony. You look at down. No, because I thought I thought I saw something back there. Oh, charcoal! That ain't the right charcoal. <laughs> you too you much. Put some <laughs> too much. No, because <laughs> I was watching the one video and she did put the charcoal. I'm gonna have to put. Something gonna have to stay in the um, nursery pot. Well, can't you take the bottom part of, of that down off? Like, um, cut, to cut the bottom part where it's draining, and then put like rocks, like put that on top of it. Then it would be like draining, cause then it wouldn't, it wouldn't soak back into the pot. Then you can sit in it. No, no. You what? You missed. I'm on a I know plane. You not? Cause I don't even. You, I don't even. <laughs> I don't uh, believe or agree with people who say if you put it down there, then it can, uh, if you put rocks down there, it creates drainage. I don't. Because I did that to one of my plants, and it still ended up getting root rot. I'm saying the bottom part right there. If you take the, take that green Yes, part. I know. You're saying if I cut this off yeah. and just put that down there and then put rocks. Back there? Over time, it's still sitting there, and the roots are always going to reach for water. I mean, it's not like it'll be an overnight thing that I could drown. If you don't overwater your plants, I don't think you're going to pay enough attention. I'll put it in here and put it in here. You can use this like a cash pot. So when you water it, just take it out, let the water run through, and then put it back in here. That's, that's a lot. That's two steps. Well, then don't overwater your plants. What do you want me to do? If you want me to put it right in here, I'll put it right in here. Just... No, don't do that. I don't want to die. Okay. So what I'm going to do is plant it in here and then put it in here. And then she can lift it out to see periodically if it's water down here. If it's water down here, dump it out. Okay? Perfect. So. This is pretty healthy soil, too. We're, these were from, this one was from Home Depot. The one I got from Home Depot had um, centipedes in it from back home. So. That's pretty good that it doesn't have any bugs. So you're gonna put two in that one? No, I want to see which one is taller to see which one I want in here. I, <laughs> I was about to say you're gonna put two I mean, in that one. <laughs> wow, this is the face that you make. For she the is giving me so, <laughs> she's giving me so many directions from the sidelines. Like I'm just so confused. Like if she wants to come out here and do this, that means she surely can. Let's put it a little higher. sharp knife so I can poke some holes in that other one and I'll put that one in there. A sharp knife. Well like not a butter knife. I don't have to be crazy sharp. Sure. Set and I'm gonna drop it in here. No, it wasn't. 
Oh, the gray one, sorry. I don't know, they should just always put a hole in the bottom. I don't understand. And then I'm, this is surprising because most of the terracotta ones I find, this one's from Trader Joe's, I think she got that plant. They usually have a hole, so I'm surprised that it doesn't. So, here we go. This one is all set and that looks really nice in this, in the gray. That one is there. This one's gonna be for the aloe. Tossing a little dirt over the side. I don't need that one. So this is the plastic pot that was on the outside of the San Severia. I'm gonna put this Dr. one in Lady there. Thought we stole. Oh yeah, so we were in the store, guys. Listen. <laughs> so we were in the store, and the plant was inside the nursery pot, and then inside here, which this is like supposed to be like their little decorative whatever. This is plastic. This has the price tag right here. She took the actual plant nursery part out and spun it around and looked like if we were gonna steal a pot. Or if we were gonna try to double something up to only pay one price, why would it be this flimsy plastic pot? Like, whatever. That lady was special. And she wasn't even doing her job right anyway because Home Depot has the picture. It pops up on the screen so you know that everything is exactly what it should be. But she was too busy away from the register so she wasn't paying attention. That's what we have to deal with when we shop for plants. <laughs> that, 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 that goes the territory. <laughs> some people, now don't get me wrong, some people do. Some people do still. She brought me the biggest knife. You said sharp. That's sharp. Lord, please don't let me. This is oh, oh my god, yo. I did, I did. You did, you did what? I cut myself with my super. You said dismember. Yo. That's because you said the same thing. You got a band aid? You can't speak negative. I don't have a band aid, I got some tissue. I'm gonna edit this part out. <laughs> Alright, so I'm back bandaged. That was not a good idea to use that knife to put holes in the bottom of that. So I'm going to put it in this black one right here. Yes, that was a horrible idea. Thankfully, I didn't cut my hand too bad. Just one finger. Wait till my husband sees that. He's like, see, you're always doing, you're always doing too much. You're always doing something extra. <laughs> oh, that could have been bad. Okay, I'm back on track. Add a little more dirt here. Girl, I'm cultured. She didn't know what a ramekin was. <laughs> We're looking for a small glass thing to put this in. She didn't know what a ramekin was. Everybody knows what a ramekin is. Okay, so we have this one. This one is nice. I put it in the black one. She likes a darker color palette anyway, so that would be better for her. And then. Eventually, if she wants to, she can put these into clay pots. I might convince her while I'm out today to get some more clay pots. Because I didn't even think that we would separate these, otherwise I would have had her get them. Because if I don't do it before I go, she's not going to change it. She'll just leave it in here. Which is not horrible to leave it into a nursery pot like this. As long as it's draining, you know, and your roots aren't hanging out. So here's that one. So, we're gonna go ahead and put this over to the side. Those are right there. I'm gonna show you all of them at the end. I have a small space here. So I'm gonna put this one because I don't need that. So next we're going to do the aloe. 
This is a nice, healthy aloe plant. I believe she said she got this one from Trader Joe's. As you can see, it's root bound. Hmm. There are the roots. They look a little dark, but the plant definitely feels, it feels healthy. So I'm going to separate that root ball a little bit. A bug. Is that a bug or is that the roots? Oh, it's the roots. I thought it was a bug. Oh my goodness. Okay. Some of these roots are dead, so I'm going to let the ones that are coming off come off and then just loosen it up a little bit. This soil is pretty yucky looking. So, ooh, what's that? Okay, I'm just gonna get all, um, I'm gonna put all new soil in here because I don't like how that soil looks. But the plant does appear to be healthy. So here we go, have that there. So I'm going to, <laughs> maybe I shouldn't be tossing dirt over her balcony. So I think it'll be okay. Okay, so I'm gonna use this pot, which is draining. This is a terracotta pot. This is the pot that it came in. Uh, I don't know why they put these stickers right onto the clay. Like it's gonna easily come off, which it does not. So you can't see that Trader Joe's price tag. Her dog in there playing with her toy. <laughs> Just heard to speak. Okay, so most of that is off, which is a good thing. Now I'm gonna get some of this cactus mix soil. I mean, the bag says cactus mix. It looks just like the regular soil, the regular potty mix that I get, so I don't know what's supposed to be so different about it. Normally at home, I mix uh, potty mix, equalized, equal parts potty mix, orchid bark, and perlite, but since she doesn't have many plants, I didn't want to have her buy all that stuff. And it would like literally just go to waste and sit there because she doesn't have a lot of plants. So that's good. Right there. So we're gonna go ahead and backfill this. gotten lately i wanted to get a new a plant for myself to take back i'm taking the train home so it won't be a big deal to transport it back but i only wanted to get one if i found something like really special that i haven't seen at home and so the mikans was the only one but she was going to get that and i was going to like propagate a piece off of it but when i saw the spider mites i was just like i didn't want to be bothered so to be centered.
there goes that the elephant there. This is very long. So it's gonna start to spread over, but I think that's a good size pot for the size that the root was. So I don't wanna go too big on the pot and then run the risk of it getting overwatered. All right, so there is the aloe plant. I'm gonna set that down here. size it has a little bit of browning on some of the edges but I'm just gonna trim that off for her but overall this plant is very healthy and um, this top stalk actually has three branches off of it I have this plant at home but my main stalk has two branches and like one little bud right here which still hasn't opened but hers has three completely opened one and one little baby one here that has the potential to open up and then the smaller one has two stalks on it as well one that started to push out and then I'm noticing here another little one that looks like it's coming out so this is a really looks like a good one that she picked so we're gonna put this into the terracotta pot we have that one right there and the saucer for it so I hope I can just get this out of here without having to handle another knife because I clearly okay, let me do it from the floor and she wants these to stay together she wants these to stay together so I'm going to put them back together in that pot for a nursery to go to. She has this candle holder on her wall um, that I thought would look really cute with air plants in it. So here are the two pieces. The roots are nice and healthy. There's no rot in there. And I'm going to keep them together in here. So I'm just lay that like that. Where's the air, where's the place that has the air plants? Um, what's the name of it? What's it called? What's it called? Oh, I've seen her Instagram. Is it a black chick? Oh, maybe I didn't. I think I did though. Little Leaf, that sounds familiar. I'm pretty sure I've seen her Instagram. Okay, so as I take a bath and all the dirt, I'm gonna put some of the original dirt in there which still looks good maybe I don't want that much <laughs> I really don't see a difference bless you I really don't see a difference in this this mix right here it says it's specifically for cactus it looks just like it says fast draining but it looks to me just like the other mix. So, I don't know. Maybe there's something in there that you can't see that makes it more fast for you. I'm gonna add a bunch of that in there. so that the plant can get down in there. I'm gonna put the big one in first. I wonder if 
<laughs> they got these big human sized bugs out here that she's trying to act like don't exist. That was almost massacred by. So now I'm gonna take this little one. And you can recreate jungles and not be okay with bugs. So. Whatever, it's not recreating a jungle. I don't get those kind of bugs at home in my plants. When you repot these, you want to make sure you position it the way you want it because these stalks right here don't grow new uh, pods unless it already has one. I don't call it pods, branches. I don't know what the technical thing they call it, but the arms. So you want, it to look, you want these to look stacked. You want to put it, position them properly while you're potting. So holding this in place, add some more dirt to backfill, get everything covered. Have you learned some things or? <laughs> I learned a lot of things and things Watch, I'm gonna have to call in and check in on her and these plants, make sure she's doing right by them. Well, she's kept her dive, her dog alive for what, how many years? <laughs> what? How long I have it? How long I, have you? I care for it. That's a baby. How long have you had your dog? Four years. Four years, so. If you can be a pet mom, you can definitely be a plant mom. Don't be afraid to talk to them either. It's stimulating. They like it. All right, so go ahead and press this down to make sure it's enough soil. sidelines that want to get directions. Side. You feel free to come out here and take over, girl. <laughs> you have to give them a chance to acclimate. Okay? You gotta settle in. Get some water. Get, get his footing. And did I say I was done? Don't you all hate when somebody wants to start giving their analysis and opinion? before it's complete. Now had I said, okay, I'm done now, what do you think? Then feel free. Until such time, shut your mouth. <laughs> I am not ready for your critique. And then you said, oh, it was gonna be a whole lot of soil left over. No, I, yeah, I pretty much did. Cause, I don't know, whatever. For no, what, for initially what I was gonna do, I was gonna do your potty mix. I was telling them how I do it at home. I mix up a couple different things for mine, but I didn't want you to have all of that when you weren't. It wasn't gonna be needed. Now if I did it that way, yeah, it would have been too much. Okay, that's enough. Is that straight to your liking? It's like it. You try to do for somebody, you know. I'm trying to bring some, some just happy plant life into her, <laughs> and she is just a mess. But no, this is a nice and healthy plant. Um, I didn't even notice this one, but this is like a new. It's not even green yet. Right here, that's gonna have probably have another arm. But I've had mine look like this, the little stem for like. <clears throat> six months it hasn't done anything so I don't know how long that takes 
But I've seen some of these like 20 feet tall in people's houses. Not 20 feet. He had 12 foot ceiling, so probably about 10. But they were all like up there to the ceiling. All right, this one is all set. And that is the last one for today. Oh, this little baby succulent that we're gonna try to keep going. Let me move this over here. Oh gosh. Oh gosh, no. Okay. <laughs> Let's move that right there. <laughs> oh, I forgot how heavy these plants get. Goodness. He's gonna wobble a little bit, but he'll settle once it gets wet and gets anchored down in the soil. But um yeah, I forgot how heavy those get when they have <laughs> when you deal with the big plants and you get all the dirt in there. So I want to try to pop this little one back in the soil. It already has roots. So hopefully it'll hang in there. This has had a candle in it. No, it doesn't have drainage, but for a succulent, I think it's fine. As long as you don't put too much water in there because you know you don't water succulents often anyway. Like once every two weeks, if that. I water my succulents once a month. And they seem to, they're fine, so I would say that's a good amount of time. This would put reminds me of what I want to do with a um, you know a terrarium though, right? Mm -hmm. I want to do one of those. I think those are so cute. But I have to find the right container. I used to see those kind of containers at the thrift store all the time. And now you can barely find them. Alright, so there goes that little guy. That is the final one. All the pots are all the plants are repotted and ready to go. I'm gonna give them a little bit of water and leave them out on the porch for a little bit to get some, but we're not bugs. Okay, she is, um, she's crazy about, not crazy, she's just worried, extra worried about bugs. But I told her it's okay for them to be outside for a little bit, but. So, let me put them all up here so you can see which ones we did. We have the aloe vera. Three succulents that we separated. Now, I would have preferred that all of these were in terracotta, but it's okay. I'll give her instructions of how to transfer them, and she can change these two at a later time. But there you have it. These are all the plants that I repotted today. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys. What? You need another to go by. What? Like, I feel like you need to give them what? <laughs> give them what? You need a signature go by. Oh, I need a signature? Bye, guys. Like that. Bye, guys. <laughs> see ya. <laughs> all right, I'll work on the signature. Yeah. What am I supposed to say? Over and out.